Welcome to the Sparling YouTube channel. This is one of several video demonstrations to configure Sparling's Tiger Mag EP magnetic flow meter. Hi, this is Chris with Sparling Instruments and today we will walk you through the program specifically to diagnostics. This parameter allows you to observe and test some of the critical operations of your meter. Take your magnetic probe or magnetic screwdriver and hold it over the nose side for approximately 5 seconds. The meter will respond, show meter data. Hit no to enter the password. Password is 0001 and hit yes. The meter will respond, rescale rate. Hit no until the meter gets to diagnostic. When the meter gets to diagnostics, hit yes and the meter will show stop coil drive. Hit yes and the meter will show the coil current in which the coils are being charged at. You will typically see close to 300 milliamps high and 300 milliamps low unless there is something wrong with the unit. Hit yes and the unit will respond current check. This allows you to source the 4 to 20 milliamp loop as a simulation to the 4 to 20 milliamp parameter. Hit yes and the meter will respond loop current equals, equals 04. In this, the meter is forcing the 4 to 20 milliamp output to advance to a 4 milliamps and can be observed on the outputs. This requires a meter or a reference for the 4 to 20 milliamp output. Hit no and the loop will advance. Continue to hit no and the unit will advance all the way up to 20 milliamps and then rotate back around to loop current equals 04. If at any point there is a discrepancy with the loop output, say yes and the meter will respond cal 4 to 20 milliamp loop. Say yes and the meter will respond lose old data. Hit yes and the meter will respond 4 milliamps as a question. Observe your output to see if the 4 to 20 milliamp requires calibration. If the 4 to 20 milliamp is not at 4 milliamps, say no and no again and the meter will allow you to enter the value you see on your output. When you have adjusted the 4 milliamps to a satisfactory value, you can move to the 20 milliamps by hitting yes, confirming the 4 milliamps, and then repeating the step for the adjusting the 20 milliamp output. Once the calibration is complete, we can move to the next parameter, which is set frequency. This allows you to simulate an output frequency for your reference. The maximum you can set the frequency is 1.25 kHz, which is in excess to the meter's maximum 1000 Hz value. This is confirming the frequency output. The next parameter is simulate 75% full scale. This allows you to output 75% of the full scale rate value. This meter is set up for 500 GPM, so when exiting the meter, the meter will show 375 GPM or 75% 75 of 500 GPM. This is critical to not only the local display, but also to the outputs. To exit 75% simulation, you will go back into diagnostics and hit no to simulate 75% simulation and the meter will exit upon exiting the program. 
The last part of, to diagnostics is simulator check in which the unit is testing the parameters of the program against the functions of the meter. This value is represented by 47,000 divided by the K factor. This confirms the program and the physical conditions of the units are good. Say yes to the value and the unit will return to diagnostic. Hit no until you get to exit and hit yes. This concludes diagnostic. Thank you very much.